Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another video. And as you can see, I'm in my apartment. I'm gonna make this video in from my kitchen here in my apartment in downtown Bangkok. The reason being today, it's just so hot. I don't know what's going on. Bangkok has become, well, Thailand in general has become very, very hot. I've been coming here for years and I haven't experienced anything like this. So what I wanna talk about today is convenience and saving money if you're coming here to Bangkok. Now, if you come here, you're gonna be using either the underground system, the MRT as it's known, or the BTS, which is a SkyTrain. Absolutely fantastic way of getting around the city. Um, they go to pretty close to all the tourist spots uh, and you'll be using them quite a lot. Now, the problem is these days, that because Thailand is such a popular destination and there, there are literally thousands of people coming from lots of different countries, when you get to these stations, sometimes you have to queue up for tickets for a long time. And I'll give you an example. I often go over to IT Fortune Mall, which is on Rama 9. It's only two stops from Asok, so I don't go on the scooter uh, because it's a very, very busy road, Rama 9. And what I normally do is I'll just walk up to Terminal 21, I'll go down to the MRT uh, underground train and I'll buy a ticket for two stops to go to IT Fortune Mall, which stops right outside the mall, which is very, very convenient. But the problem is a lot of times when I go there, um, it's just absolutely packed. The station's packed and you end up waiting for about 10 minutes before you can get your ticket. And it's the same thing with the BTS, the SkyTrain. If you go from somewhere like Asok, which is the interchange with the MRT, then especially around rush hour, it just gets so busy that it can take literally five, 10 minutes to get a ticket. That doesn't sound long, but it's not air conditioned at the ticket boxes or the machines. So, you know, you get hot very, very quickly. So what I wanna talk about today is these two uh, very, very convenient cars. And I'll talk about each one separately because they're very, very, very different, right. The first one, and this applies if you're only coming here for a week, a few days, a couple of weeks, uh, I would definitely recommend in getting both of these cards if you intend to travel around the city, uh, going to all the various locations. Uh, as I said earlier, the stations are located very close to everything you want to see, right? So the first one is a rabbit card. I don't know if you can see that there. So all you need to get this card is for the BTS. So all you need for this card is you take along your passport or a copy of your passport and you load up how much you think you're going to use. So if you're here for a couple of weeks, you might want to put a thousand baht on it, 500 baht. If, it depends how much of a traveler you are, how, how far you're going to go, how often. And what that allows you to do, you won't save any money, uh, unlike the next card I'm going to talk about. But what that will allow you to do is when you go to a station, and it's very, very busy. You just go straight through the, the, uh, the gate. Uh, where you'd normally put a ticket in that you've just bought, you put the card on top and you can just go straight through. And the other great thing about it is each time you pay, it tells you how much you've got the balance that you've got left on the card uh, on the actual display there. So you put your card on the, um, on the gate, as it were, uh, it will open up to let you through and it will tell you how much money you got there. Now, this card actually lasts for seven years. So if you're one of those people who come to Thailand a couple of times a year, and you like to travel around Bangkok and see certain things, go to your favorite areas. Um, even if you don't live here, it's worth getting the rabbit card there for uh, seven years, as I say. And if you go away and come back two years later, that credit will still be available for you to use on, on your rabbit card, okay? Now, the funny thing about this one, which is different to the MRT ticket that I'm gonna talk about, is they don't give you a discount if you're over 60, like I, I'm over 60, I'm getting on a bit now, right? But if you're Thai, you get 50%. So it's, it's, I'll talk about this at the end, but it's one of those dilemmas again where foreigners have to pay more than the Thais. So if, you're, if I was Thai over 60, I'd get 50% on my journeys with this. Uh, it's very clearly states it in the window of the ticket booth because I did ask them. So that will take me straight into the second one. Now this one, this is an MRT card. Now this one only lasts for two years. But the good thing about this, uh, again, it just saves you queuing up for tickets, especially as I said, Terminal 21. You just put the card on, on the swipe machine there. The gate will open up, you go straight through, and again, it will tell you how much money you've got left on the card. But the real good bonus about this one, if you're coming here and you're over 60 years of age, like I am, you get 50%. It's called a senior card. I don't know if you can see that. Now, obviously that won't apply to everybody, uh, younger people. But it's still worth having for the convenience of not having to queue up for a, to buy a ticket every time um, you're away. But unfortunately, they only last two years. So if you come here once a year, it's not really worth you uh, putting a lot of money on it. Um, 
I get 50% and it's brilliant. So what that means, the way they do it is I, I put 500 baht on this because I don't use the MRT system very often. I only use it if I go somewhere to make a video and there's not a BTS station there, or as I said, to go to Rama 9 to the IT mall. That's where they sell all the computer equipment, phones and lighting and everything. Obviously, uh, having a YouTube channel, I do visit there quite often. So that's why I got this card. There's only 500 on there. Um, but where, how the discount works is when I bought the 500, I've actually got a thousand baht of credit. So each time I go on a journey, so say the journey is 60 baht or 40 baht even, 40 baht, uh, it will charge my, because it recognizes the card as a senior card, it will charge me 20 baht instead of 40 baht. So in other words, you put 500 baht on the card, but you're actually getting a thousand baht of credit. And that's great. Now, that's, so that's the rabbit, uh, the rabbit card and the MRT card. So highly recommend getting both of those when you come to Bangkok because you will use uh, public transport. Now, I want to talk about something else uh, that I touched on at the beginning. The, that's the tour two-tier pricing system that they have in Thailand. And what it is, a lot of the public parks, museums, uh, anything government that you go to, e even some private businesses, they have a two-tier pricing system. And I'll give you an example. So I recently went to Koh Samet with a Thai friend, Thai, Thai national. And as soon as you get on, you have to pay, uh, as soon as you get on the island, you have to pay a tax. And that tax is for the upkeep of the island, the roads, the sewerage, and all the rest of it. Uh, but as a foreigner, I was charged 200 baht and the Thai person with me was charged 40 baht. And you'll find this very, very often when you go to, um, as I say, public parks and museums and caves and anywhere kind of touristy. There's always, for the most part anyway, a two-tier pricing system. And as I say, you've got two camps. On one side, you've got the people who say, well, I agree with it because, you know, the Thais don't earn as much and, uh, you know, that you've got to pay for the upkeep and all the rest of it. And the other camp will say, no, you know, it's a form of racism and it should be one price. But what I'd say, a good tip, because they don't tell you as a foreigner this, when you go to any of these uh, museums or park, public parks where they charge a two-tier pricing system, if you've, got, if you've got proof of your age on your, i.e. a copy of your passport, a photograph of your passport on your phone, something like that, a lot of these um, public park, uh, government parks rather that charge, uh, tourist attractions you should say, they will give you a senior price, a 50% uh, discount normally. Now another example, I recently went to the uh, Sky, the Mahakin Skywalk, I nearly forgot the name of it. It's the highest building in Bangkok. They have a glass floor. I made a video about it. Uh, it has a glass floor. You go out there, look down, uh, I think it's 79 floors, absolutely terrifying. Uh, but the point is, just to go in there, there was one charge for everybody. They were charging 850 baht. That's, that's just entry fee. So you go in, you pay your 850 baht, you go up in the elevator, you, you know, do what you want to do, take your pictures, come down, job done. Um, now they didn't distinguish again between Thais and foreigners, uh, which I was quite surprised at. And the price was 850 baht for everybody, Thai or foreigner. But the nice young girl at the counter, she said to me, how old are you, sir? Uh, and I said, I'm, uh, I'm oh, 63, I've just turned 64. I said, I'm 63. And she said, have you got ID? I showed her my Thai driving license. And she said, oh, you get the senior price. And I'm like, oh, how much is that then? She says, 350 baht. So it's the first time I've ever paid with a Thai person. And I've actually paid less than the Thai person. It's very rare. So the whole point of this story is, if you're over 60 and you go to any of these um, tourist places where you have to pay, where there's a two-tier uh, pricing system, just ask them, you know, take your ID with them and just say, uh, I'm a senior, do I get a discount? Because the problem is a lot of the places you go to, they won't tell you, they won't. I was very, very lucky uh, because again, with the MRT card, the girl behind the cashier, when I was buying the card, she says, uh, I gave her the pass, a copy of my passport. And she said, how old are you, sir? Just to confirm us, I'm 63. And she says, we well, are entitled to a senior card, which gives you 50% discount. So if you're coming here on vacation, you are going to visit all these, um, you know, the big Buddhas, the Lenin Buddha rather, and uh, the palaces and all the touristy places. Uh, and a lot of them, for, for the most part, will have a two tier, uh, pricing system. So do ask them, do tell them if you're over 60. If you're, if you're under 60, then obviously there's nothing you can do about it. You can argue until you're blue in the face. Uh, they, they don't care. Uh, the, the, the rule is set in stone. I've got a very, very good friend here who's married to a Thai. They've got three children. He's been here for 12 years. 
Um, he speaks very good Thai and he's tried to argue this point many a times and he always loses the argument because he'll say things like, you know, I've been here for 12 years, my wife's Thai uh, and my boys are half Thai and, you know, I should be paying the same as the locals. And they'll just say the same thing every time. They just say, have you got a Thai ID card? And he hasn't. Uh, and what can you say? He, he's lost the argument, hasn't he? So there you go. So just to recap, the rabbit card, which is for the, the BTS, uh, the SkyTrain, which is very, very convenient. And then you've got the MRT Plus there uh, for the um, MRT. Uh, but as I say, if you're under 60, the, the only benefits you really get for them is having to queue up for tickets, which is a great benefit when you see some of the queues here. Okay, guys, I hope it was uh, helpful. We're just, Songkran is here. It starts tomorrow. I won't be leaving my apartment very often. I used to love it in the olden days when I was a lot younger, uh, but walking down the street and getting soaked with buckets of ice cold water is not my thing anymore, so I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time in my apartment. Thank goodness there's a, a nice swimming pool on the roof. Right, okay, thanks for watching again. I hope you found the video useful, and, and I hope these cards will be of use to you when you come here to Thailand, and especially Bangkok. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next upload.